हेलो फ्रेंड्स विद मीज डॉक्टर शुभजीत रॉय रैंक 907 इन आई एन आई सी टी में ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव डॉक्टर शुभजीत रॉय फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ सेरुबेलम अकेडमी थैंक यू सो मच सर सो वर यू एक्सपेक्टिंग अ रैंक ऑफ नाइन जीरो सेवन सर लाइक आफ्टर सींग सेरिबेलम रिकॉल आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग गुड रैंक बट या विद इन थाउजेंड दिस इज यू कॉन्ट ऑब्वियसली नो टू मच बिकॉज इट्स वेरी रिलेटिव इन दिस रेंज सो या डेंट एक्सपेक्ट दिस मच ओके सो विच सब्जेक्ट यू आर एबल टू डू वेरी गुड इन दी एग्जाम so uh, like uh, as per the cerebellum recall uh, psm and obs gyni i scored uh, completely like uh, all the questions were correct uh, and uh, apart from that uh, physio anatomy also uh, i did relatively well okay uh when you were actually attempting the exam what was the thought process at that time were you getting a feeling okay i am doing very good in the exam so like uh, um Uh, i just uh, remembered one day before the exam uh, dr zaina vora ma'am took one session uh, about the exam uh, attempting strategy and she told that uh, be in the present just uh, look at the present question which is there so uh, like it never happened but on that day what happened is like i was not analyzing the paper at all whether it's easy or tough i was just being at the present uh, question and like how, what i should be doing in that and uh, after once i completed the paper it was like yeah it was uh, easy on the first look but uh, due to the um, way the questions were present like lots of multiple choice questions like a b a b c kind of questions that were there so it was tricky but yeah completely pyt based and everything was from what has been already taught to us and practiced over gts wow dr shubhaji tell us about yourself your college the city you belong to about your family do let us know so uh, i am uh, originally from asansol uh, city in west bengal and uh, i did my uh, uh, preparation and the preparation for neet from kota and then i was uh, selected uh, at uh, king george's medical university at uh, no and i had received a rank of 465 in neet and uh, and uh, i have been uh, involved in research work throughout my uh, mbbs days like uh, we had been uh, encouraged to do this a lot and uh, like uh, um, it was a mix of academics and extracurricular activities and uh, a, a college also provided a conducive environment uh, for uh, preparing for uh, uh, further pg examinations and seniors were also quite supportive in college and uh, like last year also the uh, the results of a college have been good so th that served as an inspiration for me as well yes i can see a lot of certificates of appreciation and prizes and top notch honors because you belong to a top notch college kgm you no doubt at all dr shubhajit a lot of students are going to watch your interview they are preparing for inict november or inict 2026 so can you share it with us a bit in detail how did you actually prepare for inict may 2025 so sir uh, like uh, i had uh, been uh, watching videos and preparing uh, throughout my mbbs like uh, very latently and even throughout my internship but uh, like in kgmu uh, the surgery uh, postings and internship are considered to be very hectic and i had that uh, during october to november phase and by december i was over and i remember the day our, uh, my surgery uh, postings got over the neat pg date was declared so it was exact 6 months and if you consider the ini said it was 5 months so it was mid december that i started a, a focused uh, approach towards this and uh, like i was completely into it from december 15th like that okay see december 15th to may 15th 5 months is not a big time to be frank so were you able to practice questions how did you go about the questions then so my main focus was on the pyqs rather than um, i mean pyts also uh, and uh, <laughs> like more, i relied more on them and uh, also on uh, dr zaina vora uh, ma'am's uh, like btr uh, the test that she took and also the previous uh, test she had uh, taken for the previous batches so uh, that uh, served to be very helpful actually because uh, ma'am has a tendency of giving such questions where she integrates uh, like five topics in one question and then making the same kind of a b a b c type of questions that were there so that served to be really really helpful Great, great. But yeah, the, uh, the journey was uh, like uh, quite tough because I remember the first GT that I had uh, given in uh, December, it was only seventy five corrects. Okay, and so were you able to give GTs on a regular basis? Yes, uh, like uh, um, uh, I tried giving it uh, like um, at uh, one week interval. Initially, it was uh, not one week. Initially, it was I think two weeks or one point five weeks. But later on, I made sure that uh, like uh, at least four GTs I was giving uh, in a month, and. Uh, 
Yeah. But many students claim that they are scoring low marks in GT. I should not give GT. Is that the right approach? I think GT should always be given. Yes, sir. Uh, like uh, what I had, like uh, th there are ups and lows. Uh, although my uh, graph has been uh, on an increasing track, but yeah, up and down were there. So uh, what I my mindset was that if I scoring uh, lower than the previous GT uh, in a in a particular GT, the best thing to come out of that phase is to give another GT and score a higher marks. Okay. So you don't stay in that negative vicious cycle for a very long period of time. Uh, so I carried this kind of mindset, and so like this motivated me to give another GT. And this happened with me uh, in March. I remember when Ma'am was taking uh, regular GTs, like three G uh, grand GTs were there. I scored low in one, and I made sure I uh, give the other GT very quickly. So uh, I got a relatively better score in that. And yes, I, I didn't have that you know depressing kind of uh, phase. I came out of it. Okay, so were you able to attend the live examination and discussion sessions of Sri Belam? Yes, sir. Like sometimes I miss that on a given day the uh, discussion part because uh, sometimes I preferred uh, going at two x speed and viewing it in the app in the recorded mode. So, uh, but but I tried to give the exam on that day itself because uh, that uh, helps you keep being in that schedule. Okay, and one more thing in Cerebellum, what we have put is late night PYQs and midday modules. Yes. So most of the students who score rank, they always claim they were able to do them almost completely. Were yes, you able to do them almost completely? Yes, um, like uh, eighty to ninety percent of the days, I made sure I'm uh, giving that because uh, that is a very unique feature. I think like uh, whenever you are uh, like most of the uh, materials that we have PYQs, uh, it's always uh, subject based. So and. Uh, Already your mind is like direct. Okay, I have to think about this subject only. So, uh, but when it's a mixed bag uh, the module that was started, I think around from uh, mid March to April and then May also. So that uh, simulated an exam kind of mode and uh, like uh, these are the we hours of the day. Like afternoon, just after you have had your lunch and uh, you don't feel like studying and midday before uh, sorry late night before you go to sleep when you're sleepy. So I think uh, that helps you like uh, whatever kind of you uh, even during the main exam if you feel sleepy or maybe you are not getting that much of energy but you have that experience of attempting questions uh, even during those times. Doctor Subhajit, actually, I'm smiling at listening you just by listening you, by listening to you. Why? Because I'll tell you the precise idea behind midday modules was this only that after having the food in the afternoon, we tend to feel sleepy. Yes. Sir. Idea behind the late night PYQ was also same. See me, Doctor Poo, Doctor Praveen, Doctor Zainab, Doctor Govind, Doctor Sparsh. All of us had been medical students ourselves. We always wanted to go to bed before sleeping with a calm and satisfactory day that we had spent. So we tried to introduce a late night PYQ session so that students before they go to bed, they feel confident. Okay, I've attempted these 30, 40 questions and I've done justice to whole day's hard work. Now, Dr. Subhajit, suppose I'm a student going to prepare for INICT in November or need or maybe let's say INICT next year, 2026. How should I prepare? So I, we believe that uh, like uh, I'll uh, talk about like current interns who are that like uh, 20 batch because I've gone through that phase. So mm -hmm. I think uh, they should uh, now from this phase that is uh, April, May to uh, November, December, they should focus on the concept building part. That is the main videos and in-depth knowledge because uh, this helps in the long run. And after December, like when they have uh, like five or six months left, that's when uh, when the focus part, like doing a BTR or revision, uh, rapid revision courses, that is when that should come into effect and uh, more focused uh, approach towards solving uh, questions. And uh, one thing I uh, felt this time, like uh, there was this question about uh, taking a pap smear. Now, uh, in that uh, per vaginal examination should not be done. Uh, like. I didn't read it anywhere, but I remembered uh, during my internship posting in uh, the OBG department, one of our JRs had told this. So I feel uh, whatever internship we are doing, uh, we should uh, like keep our uh, ears and um, eyes open that whatever is happening in the surrounding, because these will help in at least one or two question and it will, can make the difference. Wow. Uh, Dr. Subhajit Roy, let me summarize. See, students will feel Dr. Subhajit started preparation in December and in five months he was able to create magic. No. Dr. Shubhajit has mentioned that he had been preparing since his UG days. So this is something that all of us have to learn. Consistency is the key. He was able to practice all the questions almost in ENDs, late night PYQ, midday modules. He was able to give GTs on a regular basis. And this is what matters. 
and he was able to score on a consistently good basis consistency is the key now dr subhajit are you going to appear for neat pg my first question yes sir so which branch are you targeting whether through inict or neat pg which branch are you general targeting general surgery general surgery great so i can meet i am sure i'll meet you in delhi then or do you have plan yeah. for any other specific college sir so, uh, like uh, till now i was thinking about inict but uh, give but this time if uh, everyone knows that seat roster has very less seats this time so i'll have to uh, see like a uh, neat pg uh, like which college i can take through that they, like i have my state quota also so i might uh, even opt for lucknow or might even go for delhi colleges so that is something which i haven't th not thought about much because as more uh, engrossed in preparing rather than uh looking into that counseling phase but yeah i'll think about that after this okay great and before we just conclude the interview let's do a small rapid fire round five favorite subject of yours five favorite subjects or three favorite subjects uh, surgery um, ent and uh, anatomy wow wonderful so you have a surgical bent of mind you will be very busy in surgery but do not leave the key thing research right don't forget psm stick to research in surgery also great to see that and any subject or subjects which you didn't like at all but you did very well don't say uh, sir, ortho was uh, something like uh, i didn't like much but uh, yeah in in the end uh, things uh, fell into place and like i didn't uh, do very bad uh, like what i had expected so it went well wonderful wonderful so dr shubhajit roy first of all again before we conclude the interview Heartiest congratulations to you, your parents. You, I am sure you must have called your parents first after yes, you saw the result. Yes, sir. First. And are uh, you belong to a family of doctors? No, sir. I am the first doctor, in my, like from both sides of my family. Okay, uh, welcome. Uh, welcome to the family the of engineers. Welcome to the club. I am also Thank in the same boat. Great, great, great. so we will definitely meet we have to plan a party also where i am going to give you a party if you land up in delhi if i come to kolkata you are going to give me a party sure sir definitely chalo great great take care stay on course all the best for neat pg try to target mm -hmm. top 20 ranks in neat pg sure sir i'll try my level best you'll easily get it all the best stay on course thank you thank you so much sir